11.41 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today's date, 9-24-2011, and it's a great day to be a many things here as an MMT apprentice. As I'm a market maker. I'm a trade management strategist. I'm all kinds of things about all kinds of things. And one of the things that we like here, the CRX got potash in here. We make markets on it all the time. It was great to the long side, but they short, it was a great short to so slam these things down. FCX is in here as well. Here, let's take a look at BHI. It's in here. Let's just take a look. Let's take a look. The high was 50.55, but look at the lows. Look at the 52 week low. Look at where the print is. It's still above it. Here's BHP, another one. So there are very good ones in here. Look at Hess getting very, very, very cheap. Pricing in a slower environment. Be some good opportunities. Look at Gold Corp here. Okay. We'll be watching these. Look at Podosh here. Very, 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 very important. Podosh at times, at lows, are great buying opportunities for trade management as a market maker intraday where you're buying a thousand shares to three thousand shares on entries at certain price levels and then selling it back to the public and one thousand share distributions and where the support going to be look at SLB over here look at Apache Energy over here at eighty two dollars here look at the fifty two week low is eighty one eighty it's almost there APA will have to do charts on it can flag write it down APA can flag write it down all right, get the FCX written down. 52 week low, 30.97. Printing at 32.37. All right, so we have to have these things in here. Hess, right here, 52 week low. Hess, they were making great earnings in the bull run. Newmont Mining. Take a look at it. The 52-week low is 50. It's well above it, but this one has a certain trade management. But the, the number one is POT. Okay. Now let's take a look there. Here is the weekly Morgan Stanley. That's all of those stocks I just showed you on a weekly level, and we have put in the 2011 year highs, and we're at all-time lows in a lot of those equities, and we're testing this 200 weekly moving average over here at this support level. That's where we had. That's where everybody got in on that run right here, and went right up there to that high. Now, went right up in here to those highs, and took that all the way up. And that was all of 2010 and the last part of 2011. But I'm sorry. Look at the major reversal. Went straight up and straight down. Slower growth. There are a lot of things contributing to it. A lot of rebalancing. A lot of people selling. Maybe they're not going to make as much money in a contracted worldwide growth economies around the world. There's lots of things that go involved. However, we'll be watching that the weekly sell signal is getting a little bit oversold and that the weekly percent DS is here at 20.68. When we were up at the highs up here, we were probably somewhere around 80% totally overbought. And over here, we were 51% when we had the big weekly resistances. You can see where we're at 200 week. And we're going to get oversold. We're going to see what happens here. And or if it breaks and sells below it, it's closing. That 200 week moving average is 780.69, 780.69 as of 918 week reading with the close that we just had here yesterday on Friday. That weekly is 780.69 and all the other ones are an extremely bare reversal weekly moving averages. However, we're getting oversold. Now let's take a look at the daily here. Okay, the daily is right back over here. And it too is in in a daily sell signal. There's that first little bounce up in here, and it broke its neckline at 850. And the rest of those stocks that I'm talking about that I showed in the film there are going to get uh, oversold as well. And that's picking the leadership out of the CRX. And that means all the fund managers that I told you about were using this as a gauge to get performance. But I'm sorry, they're underperforming big time. And the thing about it is they've given all their gains up for 2011 because they're closing below it. Here, I'll draw you a horizontal trend line. Let me show it to you. 
And it's a very important place where money buys stocks that yield and do well outside of the U.S. Got some great companies in there. The problem is that you broke that low here on Friday on this daily chart. And that this support level is at jeopardy here because a sell down brings us down here. Once again, is where do I find opportunity in the names that are oversold in here? That we will do on our own and we will do individual uh, training around them. Here's the break point here. Here's your break point and here's your support level. It came down and it went through it. So we're going to see what happens there. Those are the names. That's the CRX, Morgan Stanley Commodity Related Sector Index with all great names.